Hello and welcome. It's already the month of May, Skin Cancer Awareness Month. I cannot believe the number of mineral sunscreen launches this year. In fact, there are so many, I have to break them into two videos. Today, I'm gonna do all tinted mineral sunscreens, and then either next week or maybe the week after, I'm going to do untinted mineral sunscreens. As we know, we should be wearing our sunscreen 365 days a year, all year round. The education on skin cancer awareness is fabulous these days, as opposed to when I was a kid, or probably you were a kid, we just didn't know any better. And I'm sure you, and I know I, have been exposed to lots of UV damage over the years. Thankfully, I have not had any skin cancer scares. With mineral sunscreens, people tend to shy away from them because they have the white cast, and they sit very heavily on the skin. A lot of the new formulas are much better than they used to be. They certainly aren't like that old zinc oxide that we used to put on. I'm going to show you a range of skin tones and a range of skin undertones. I think I'll be able to show you something that will work all the way up to Fitzpatrick 4. And I have peach tones, neutral tones, yellow tones. So I have a whole array of tinted mineral sunscreens to share with you. And remember, with tinted mineral sunscreens, we also get protection from blue light from the sun. Now there's some debate whether the blue light in our homes is actually damaging our skin, but definitely we're getting blue light from the sun. I'm gonna start with the lightest and work my way to the deepest tones. I have eight to share with you, plus a bonus. The bonus is a color correcting sunscreen. The first one I wanna share with you is the Murad City Skin Age Defense SPF 50 4 Pluses. This is a light peach tone on my Fitzpatrick 2 neutral skin. It does not leave a white cast. It blends really nicely. It dries down really nicely into kind of a satin finish. I can wear it by itself or I can add a little bit of foundation or tinted moisturizer over this. It works really well with makeup and gives a nice soft finish satiny look. The second sunscreen I want to share with you is new. This is from the Sun Safety Kit by Sephora. It comes out every March. I post that in my community page because it goes quickly. This year, I didn't even get a chance to review it before it was sold out. The St. Jane is an SPF 30 mineral sunscreen with bright yellow undertones. This was too bright yellow for my neutral undertone. It has a bit of fragrance. As you can see, as I apply this in a couple layers, it's difficult to blend into the skin and it sits on top of the skin. So you can actually see a bit of chalky residue after you finish applying it. Clinique Pepstart SPF 50. I believe this is one of the first mineral sunscreens I ever tried. This tends to be kind of a sunny yellow, warmer undertone. It does not have a white cast once it dries down. It's a little more glowy than the Murad, so sometimes I powder it just a little bit. But if you're Fitzpatrick, probably one or two with slightly yellow undertones, I think you're gonna love this. The Dr. Loretta Universal Glow. This is a new launch, all mineral sunscreen. This sunscreen has light pink undertones, as in the name, it definitely has a glowy finish. I prefer a little bit of foundation or a little bit of translucent powder over it to get the final look, but it has a very nice finish, even on its own, if you don't mind a little bit of glow. What to mention about this is it has a light scent. It smells like lavender. It's a lavender oil that's in here. But this also, this tube looks exactly like her combination sunscreen. So make sure you check that you're getting the mineral sunscreen because the combination sunscreen, I think it's the Urban Antioxidant, looks exactly the same, except this says Universal Glow and this is mineral. So be careful if you're choosing that. I was really pleasantly surprised. This leaves no white cast. I think the Urban Antioxidant sunscreen leaves a bit of a heavier white cast on me than their Universal Glow. The color correcting sunscreen that I want to share with you, it's the Seek Appear by Dr. Jart. This is actually green. Now, on its own, if you use the correct amount, it's way too heavy and it doesn't look right, as you can see from this picture. But if you use it to color correct your other mineral sunscreens, you're going to be so pleased. If you want to cover a blemish, if you just have some redness in a certain area or some irritation, this is perfect. It cuts down the redness and blends into your skin. I was really surprised. I usually use a dry beauty blender to tap this in over my already existing layer of mineral sunscreen 
or I tap it a little bit in before I apply it. It works a little bit better after I apply one layer or two layers of my foundational mineral sunscreen and then use this just to go through and color correct in spot areas. Bloom Effects, this is their Tulip Dew. This is a super glowy sunscreen and I was surprised when this first came out of the bottle, I thought it was gonna to be too dark for my skin, but as I blend it in, it's almost a perfect match for my neutral tone. The one thing that is really difficult with the sunscreen is it just doesn't dry down. I have to powder at least twice to cut down on the glow. It's very dewy. Dewy would be an understatement. This is a very glowy sunscreen that doesn't dry down. I would say that's the only reason that I might not recommend this unless you have dry to very dry skin. But like I said, it's a perfect match for my skin tone. It does look really nice to powder it down, but you really need to cut down the glow unless you really like that dewy look. The Iris and Romeo is really way too dark for my particular skin tone. It has really deep, yellow undertones, but I think it would be great for Fitzpatrick 3 with yellow undertones. I definitely like the fact that this isn't too glowy. It dries down, but on my skin tone, it just looks a little weird because it's just not the right color. But I think if you have, like I said, close to Fitzpatrick 3 and yellow undertones, this might be the perfect mineral sunscreen for you. Next up was kind of a disappointment to me because this is by Eucerin. I love Eucerin. This is their SPF 35 and they call it a broad spectrum SPF 35 blendable tint for all skin tones. I did not find that to be the case. It's a little too dark and a little too orange for my skin tone. It does leave a very, fairly dewy finish and it's a fairly heavy cream. It, it, you can definitely really feel the sunscreen even once it dries down. Unlike the Murad, and unlike the Pep Start, this one leaves a very heavy, creamy feel to it. Sort of like the Peter Thomas Roth that I loved a couple of years ago. I still like that sunscreen, but it is very creamy and it just sits a little bit heavier on the skin. As do all mineral sunscreens. Mineral sunscreens are unlike chemical sunscreens. You're going to feel them on the skin in comparison. That's why it's really nice when you find a lighter formula in the higher SPF range. It's really surprising how some of these formulas are almost getting as light coverage as some of the chemical sunscreens. The Neostrata Defense, this is SPF 50. I thought this was the darkest one of all of them, but surprisingly, once this shears out, it's not bad at all. It's gonna be perfect for Fitzpatrick 3. It will not leave a white cast, but it's actually okay for Fitzpatrick 2. I'm actually wearing it today. It dries down to a nice satin finish. It's not overly glowy. I think it's a really pretty finish. It actually makes my skin look like I have foundation on, which I don't mind some days at all. If I want just a sheer kind of everyday look, then I wouldn't I wouldn't turn to this sunscreen for my skin tone, but if I just want like that kind of a little bit elevated look, like I have a little bit of foundation on, this is perfect. Like I said, it kind of dries satin, very much like the Murad has that kind of satin powdery finish. My top four picks in order are number four, the Bloom Effects, because even though it's a great skin tone match, it's a little bit too glowy. Number three is gonna be the Pep Start that I've used for years. It's just a little bit too yellow for my skin tone right now. Maybe if I get a little bit of color this summer, it might be a better match, but it's just a little bit too much of a yellow undertone. Number two is the Universal Glow by Dr. Loretta. This has really nice pink undertones that match my skin tone pretty well with no white cast. The only reason it's number two is it's super glowy and I definitely have to powder down to cut the glow. And at number one for tinted mineral sunscreens for me so far this year is the Murad City Skin Age Defense SPF 50 PA 4 Pluses. This is just the perfect sunscreen for every day. It dries down with that satiny finish. I don't have to worry about powdering it. I can just put it on and go. It's such a pretty finish and it's kind of like a one and done sunscreen, just kind of skin perfecting. Don't forget, coming up is a roundup of the untinted mineral sunscreens that I've tried this year. So definitely subscribe, like, and click that notification bell so you don't miss that video. And I hope you enjoyed today's video, a roundup of all the tinted mineral sunscreens that I've tried this year. If you have a favorite, definitely put it down in the comments and wishing you all a skintastic day.